Okay, so, um, hi. Uh, this is gonna be my very first first impressions video. I've never done one of these. I try to do one of these for my, the very first time I tried Revlon and Color Stay, but my family kept talking in the background and I couldn't do it. So, <laughs> but that was like forever ago. Um, so, yeah. I was at the store yesterday and I, the first thing I want to show you is I got this like awesome, I'm going to use this today too. Um, I went into this store called Icing at Washington Square and they had this palette thing I don't know what that's for but it says natural there and that's the icing logo it's super cute um it's an eyeshadow palette it's got literally the best eyeshadows ever you see that yeah it's awesome. um lots of pinks and golds that kind of stuff so I'm gonna use that today it's a very bright palette, so I'm going to be doing a first impression on this as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to prime my eyes for these or not. I might, um, but yeah. But in this video, I'm only going to show um, the things that I'm doing first impressions on. I'm not going to do my entire, show my entire face and everything, but okay. So, and then I, I went to... Um, Kmart and I still had money from my trip to the mall um, and I decided to get the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour um, Foundation and the thing with me is I have tried like four yeah four different foundations first one I tried was the Maybelline Fit Me that did not stay on my face it stayed on my face for like like a few hours maybe and then it, it would it just look terrible I didn't like it and then the covergirl 3-in-1 foundation I absolutely hated that one because <sighs> I could leave it on my face for like an hour and after an hour it would look terrible and I had like you know it just looked really bad on my acne and stuff my acne showed through it was just coming off of everything and even with the Revlon Color Stay, I have that problem, so it's really difficult to find something that's gonna work. Uh, so, this is gonna be just a little test, and I'm not really going anywhere today, so I decided why not. Um, I love their little, like, crown logo thing. That's, like, so cute. Okay, and then... <laughs> Um, yeah, this says it's full coverage, and it's got some sort of comfort serum. Uh, it's supposed to, you know, be sweat, heat, and all that other stuff. It says it's supposed to be, like, a hundred things proof, so <laughs> we'll see if it actually does that. I don't know. Um, and then I also picked up, oh, and I'm in the shade Light Ivory, it's the lightest one. Um, and then I got the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. It's in Very Fair, and it, basically it's just the concealer. I'm only putting this underneath my eyes, I'm using the foundation as a concealer as well so I'm putting like a full face on and then I'm gonna take more right on the areas and blend that in like it's concealer since this is supposed to be like a brightening concealer you don't really want to brighten up the bad areas of your face so um yeah okay now I'm gonna tell you about the smells I guess I'll do the foundation first the foundation smells like perfume. <laughs> it smells like they sprayed perfume in this. So it's got sunscreen in it. That's probably why. Um, 
in my nose or something. Um, <laughs> yeah, it smells, it smells like they put perfume in it. It smells like the, uh, Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. <laughs> I used to use that. That's what, yeah, from the three-step thing from Clean and Clear, that's what it smells like. The, the last step is the moisturizer, and that's what this smells like. It's not a great smell. It smells like you have perfume on your face, but maybe it, it might go away or something. Um, concealer. Oh my god, that's so funny. The concealer smells like the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. If you've ever smelled it, it smells like really good. Yeah, that's what this smells like. I keep getting it on my nose. Yeah. It, it smells good. It smells good. Um, <laughs> so I guess I should just do this now. Um, I'm gonna have to watch the thing to make sure it doesn't shut off on me, heroes. Okay. So I'm gonna do what what I try to do with my okay. This is pretty thick, like that. I'm gonna do that. It smells really weird. It smells like I'm putting perfume on my face, which isn't awesome, but you know. Yeah, it's like very thick. Feels like. So. <laughs> I'm gonna blend it in real fast. It smells really, really fragrancy. Oh, that stings. Okay. Has a lot of sunscreen in it, I guess. That's why it smells like that. Um, it's not summer, so I guess I shouldn't be trying this right now, but whatever. Mm. Covers pretty well, I suppose. Wow. I covered up my cheek redness really fast. Better than the Revlon color stated. My eyes are pretty dark. <laughs> so. Whoa. I don't even think I need concealer. I mean, you know, to put more on. This is not real. You're lying to me. I was like, kind of expecting this not to be a very great. By the way, it's it's sticky. Um, so it doesn't dry very fast. I'm just gonna put more on to see what happens. Like, if it makes a mess or not. Like, if it makes it look bad or not. My chin. Even though I don't even need it. I just have so this one's really bad right here and these three on my forehead are the worst okay that's the foundation it looks pretty nice um close up isn't so great I guess 
Okay, I'm gonna do underneath my eyes. Oh, I didn't mention I'm not powdering or putting anything else on my face other than this. Might do a tiny bit of bronzer right here and like some blush at the top here, but other than that, I'm not gonna really put much on. Okay, so. It's hard to get this back in and out. Don't really feel like you're getting a lot from it when you do that. Okay. There. I'm gonna blend. Oof. This side with my finger and this side with this brush. See if it makes a difference in the way it applies and looks. Because with some concealers, it works better with blending it with your finger, and some concealers work better with blending it with the brush. So, okay, this concealer is really smooth, really creamy, and smooth. So, Just put it down my nose real fast. Okay. Um, it looks pretty much the same to me. Tried the same on both sides. Yeah, you can do this with a brush or your finger. It works well both ways, looks like. Ew, hair in my mouth. Okay. It's pretty good. I'm gonna go on to that eyeshadow palette now. I think... I think I'm gonna start out with this pink color. Right there. Looks cute. You know. Um. I'm just gonna take this flat brush right here. With that pink color, put it on my eyelid. I'm not gonna prime. So far, it looks really pigmented with a lot of fallout. It's like very powdery and like, yeah. Feels a tiny bit cheap, but you know, at least it's not, it's, at least it's not like, oh, it's not pigmented at all. Okay, and I think I'm going to go in with this gold color right here and put it in my crease. But I have to finish this first. Make sure the pink shows through because, yeah. Okay. 
That's what it looks like. It's pink. It's a cute color, so. I mean, why wouldn't you use it? Um, I'm gonna take this brush right here. It's sort of angled, it's big. I'm gonna take the gold on the tip and go right there. I can't even see it. Okay, so impression at the moment is that the eyeshadows look okay. See? But the foundation feels really drying um, on my forehead. And yeah, now that it's starting to dry, feels really drying and like weird. So I can feel it on my face right now, which isn't good. Um, yeah. Mm. Still feels a little bit sticky, but I think it's starting to dry a little bit, but feels really drying like around my eye area and like that kind of thing. Uh, so I do feel it on right now. Maybe it'll better, but I think it really matches my skin tone too. Like it matches my neck. Not so much my hands, but whatever. I, I can't tell if that's the yellow light or not. Oh yeah, it is. Okay, sorry. My light's messed up right now. Um. So, this is all I'm wearing today. I really don't care. Um, but first checkup, a few seconds after putting it on, I feel it around my eyes, like the, con I guess that's the concealer, I can feel the concealer, it feels heavy, um, it, the concealer is dry, and when I swipe it, it doesn't come off, which is good, see, it didn't come off. This side, this side is the same. It feels not so creamy anymore. It feels like my regular under eyes, like I didn't even put anything on it, which is good. Um, my cheeks feel really sticky still. The rest of my face does. So I'm gonna wait a little while and then I'll come back and tell you guys if it dries. It's not cracking on my acne yet. You can st you can still see a tiny bit of color. Um, I'll do the next one in better lighting, I promise. Um, the eyeshadow looks good. I just put it on though, so. Um, just have to see. I didn't prime for my eyeshadow, and I didn't um, do. And I didn't prime or powder my face at all. I'm not gonna touch my face or my eyes. I'm not putting anything else on. Not even mascara, cause I don't feel like it right now. <laughs> um, but yeah. Sorry that it keeps going from yellow to weird. My light is like right there. <laughs> So, yeah, that's what it looks like right now. I'm just waiting for it to crack on my acne, because even Revlon Color Stay does that, so. Yeah, okay, I'll be back soon. Okay, so, um, everything has had time to dry for a while now, and I would tell you that it feels okay. My nose 
is cracked. Um, you can see my acne more. So it's kind of the same as all my other foundations are. The only thing is this one doesn't need to be powdered. Um, the concealer is really nice. I'm going to keep using the concealer. Um, yeah, but the foundation is okay. Um, I, it's had time to sit on my face. Um, it feels powdery uh, already. It feels like I powdered, but I didn't. Um, my imperfections are showing, so obviously it's alright. If you want a cheaper foundation, it does the same thing for me that Revlon Color Stay does, but I'm going to wait a little bit while longer to see how well it stays on. Right now, if I swipe my face, nothing comes off. See? Nothing. It's just my fingers. And the concealer doesn't come off either. So they dried on good. This doesn't wipe off when I wipe my face, which is good. Uh, which I like. Which means that it does sit in on your face, but I, I can feel it on my face when I touch my face, uh, that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's all right, and um, I'm gonna come back in a little while to. This is when it's basically first applied because. Just had a little bit of time to set. The eyeshadow looks good. See? So, yeah. Um, I'm going to the store with my mom in a second. So, um, when I get back, I'll make another video because I'll probably be back in like an hour or two since the store is farther away. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful, I guess. Um, it's cheaper than the Revlon Color Stay, so if this stays on my face, same as Revlon Color Stay, and all the other stuff, I'm going to finish using my Revlon Color Stay, but I will start using the other one instead since it's so much cheaper. Um, it was only like $6.99, so, um, and the Revlon Color Stay was like $12. So, um, yeah. So far it's proven itself. Uh, I really like the concealer a lot because that has stayed. Um, so, yeah. I'll be back soon. Okay, so it's been a little while, and I will say that if you are not a fan of fragranced makeup and that kind of stuff, this is probably not for you because this foundation really fragrance and so is the concealer. Um, the concealer is alright. It didn't brighten up that much but you know powder can fix that. Um, it's pretty good. Um, it's still on my acne. Um, um, So yeah, um, it stayed pretty well. You, I didn't need to powder with this, um, so it's it's a pretty good foundation. Um, kind of, it looks basically the same as it did when I put it on in the morning. Uh, so and it's been like five hours. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this is pretty. I'm serious. It's been five hours, and it's good. It's dark. So, yeah. So if you need a foundation that's going to stay on your face, this is coming from somebody that every single foundation I try doesn't stay on my face. So it's pretty good. Um, it's like, yeah, it's four o'clock right now. So, uh, in about... Before I 
take it off, I will do another video about it. Um, so yeah. Okay, so this is about the third day that, no, not the third day, like the fourth day, I think, something like that, that I've had um, the Rimmel Foundation. Um, I really like it a lot. It stays on very well, and when I wipe my face, it doesn't come off. It stays on really well after, I've had this on for about all day now, and it's like, Four o'clock? Yeah, it's four o'clock. Um, I put this on at eight. No, I put this on at ten, and it's four o'clock. So I've had it on for seven hours, about. Um, yeah, I've had this on for seven hours, and it looks perfect. It literally looks amazing. I am obsessed with this. And the this is also the same eyeshadow palette. I just used the lightest shade and then the darkest shade in the crease. It looks awesome. I really like this um, foundation. It looks really good with my skin. It matches everything. It pretty much is just awesome. It's even better than Revlon Colorstay. Um, I, I don't powder this foundation because I have dry skin so it cakes up if I powder it but it stays on all day literally all day long there's like a tiny bit of redness showing through but I can always cover that up with more concealer um, I apply right after I apply this foundation and my concealers I spray my face with the NYX dewy finish thing and I think that also helps with <laughs> my you know with keeping it on my face and everything um, it looks just great so if you guys are looking for a cheap foundation that is gonna work for you I really recommend this it's crazy how products can be like like the more more expensive and high-end products can be worse than the cheaper ones like same thing with my eyeliner when I used a um, I used to use the Maybelline Master precise eyeliner thing um that always went into like the crease of my eye like into the, it always bled into the crease because I did I, I always do a thick coat of eyeliner when I wear it so it was like not looking so great during the day you know and it was coming off and it was rubbing off and all this and then I tried the essence eyeliner pen and it's like two dollars so it was like so much cheaper it's like seven dollars cheaper than the other one was and it worked so much better so um you have to be careful with that um so always recommend i'm always doing like i'm gonna start doing like buying cheaper things before the more high-end things because you know some things just work better than others and <sighs> Some some places just I don't know they just work better. So um, so I mean products, not places. Uh, so yeah, um, I really recommend this foundation. I really love it. I'm gonna start using it all the time now because it's literally so much cheaper than any other foundation I have tried. So even though it's like only for three or four dollars cheaper. It's still better.